now it's time to get into the blow by blow of your experience on Drag Race. Oh. Let's dissect, come on. Okay. Fuego. <laughs> Fuego. That was so weird. Miss Fuego. Oh, Lord, Miss Fuego. What the hell is this? This is so exciting for me. You have no idea. Ooh. I'm your biggest fan. Are really you? your biggest fan. Oh, how big? Oh, huge. <laughs> Yes. You nasty Ms. Wigo, what exactly do you want? Here's Miss Vanjie. You say whatever you need to to her. Baby, I'm such a huge fan. I just flew over here to give you your very own Fuego holes. Okay. <laughs> those are your holes. Girl, I live. Wow, those Bigger are pretty hoops. good. Bigger the YouTube sensation. <laughs> anyway, I just. I love you. You are a phoenix inspiration to me, rising and rising every day. Johnny, thank you for always leaving the back window at the mm -hmm. emergency fire escape open. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later, okay? Did you bring, Bye. Did you bring chicken wing? Oh, honey, I got you. You want leg and wing or breast and thigh? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, Miss Wango. See you later. Bye, Bye Miss Wango. Oh, God, she's trying to fly. Oh, she's falling. Oh, well, oh, the seagulls got her. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that was Miss Fuego. Oh wow, Miss Fuego. She got an Instagram. <laughs> yes, she does. I have to follow her. <laughs> All right. Now that we've uh, we have we're done. Are we done with our interruptions, everyone? All right. Good. Let's get into Drag Race. Mm -hmm. Now you had a lot of strong drag mentorship from your mother, Miss mm -hmm. Alexis Mateo and part of the now legendary Mateo Empire, honey. What was the advice she gave you uh, on get, getting, when you were gonna go to Drag Race? One thing she told me that stuck with me was, if you're gonna read somebody, read them smiling. Like, bitch, you as ugly as fuck, you look like shit. And then, you know, if you smile, yeah. it looks nice. Like, oh, bitch, you ain't shit, you ain't never gonna be shit. <laughs> and smile while reading them hoes. So I said, like, okay. <laughs> That is very good advice because mm -hmm. people people get it twisted when they uh, when they act all angry. Yeah. they don't seem in control. But if you do it with a smile, yeah, it makes it like, oh, she a graceful, she a grateful cunt. <laughs> yeah, yes. So when you finally got there and you came into the workroom, you're wearing your big metallic like armor cage type of thing, cage. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what was that first day and first moment walking into the workroom like? I was. Listening to the girls, trying to see who I could recognize. Only person I knew voice was Eureka. Uh huh. So I was like, girl, I'm gonna walk. You know, I, I did plan my intro, not my exit. So I planned my intro. <laughs> I said, I'm about to say tense, 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 because it was season ten. Right. And I went in there trying to vogue and do all these shenanigans, and I was feeling my oats and. You know, I knew I looked sick then. You were ready and you were excited. Mm -hmm. Now, did you come in and see, uh, get intimidated by any of the people you saw, or you were just laser focused at that point? Um. No, I was just excited. I think I was, like, I had all kind of nerves and excitement, and I was just like, ooh, bitch, what am I going like, to get myself into type uh -huh. of thing? But so, it was good. So then you find out that the first challenge is design on a dime. Right. Well, no. First they told us the mini challenge, and I thought that was the main challenge. Right. So I said, oh, bitch, I'm about to go in. I might be in the top for this one. <laughs> you know, I don't top, but I'm going to top tonight. And I started <laughs> voguing and shit. That's, that's the, what I... And then they were like, no, bitch, that's the mini challenge. The 99 cent store challenge is the main challenge. <laughs> Gang! <laughs> Yeah. Because that is not your speciality. Well, yeah, the thing is, I can sew uh -huh. with fabric. Right. Bitch, none of that shit you can sew together. No. And they wanted it to be covered in 99 cent shit. Yeah. So I really said, I was like, okay, bitch, none of my shit is 99 cent. I don't know, you know, I don't go to the 99 cent store and say, oh, bitch, I'm getting this paper plate and make me a, a <laughs> fucking outfit. Let me go to the uh, swimming section and get these scuba gears and shit. Yeah. 99 cent, you know that shit gonna fall apart anyway. Right. I was like, girl, what's the lip sync song? Mm, oh, no. Right. <laughs> Give me the lip sync and I get my iPod, please. <laughs> so did you think as you're gluing together all the Barbies, this is not going good? No, actually, I thought my look was sickening. Right. <laughs> I said, I'm about to give them a little bit of Rihanna, Matt Gallagher, 
when she had that origami flower? Yeah. She wasn't trying to feature shape. Sure. She was just a circle. That's right. what I was That's circle. right. <laughs> I was a shape, a circle. Right. Because you you had patterns in your purse, as you yeah, said. Yeah, I had but, patterns. But not uh, architectural uh, Tools diagrams. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> so when it came down to the time to show it off, how were you feeling on the runway? Confident? Oh, yeah, I was like, well, I was just excited to see the, to be on the runway, bitch. It didn't matter if I was wearing a paper bag, mm -hmm. sponges, like my <laughs> sister, or uh, right. barbies and flowers, bitch. I was just gagging. I said, oh, I'm about to get my life. Yep. I didn't want to leave the runway. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then you find out that you're in the bottom. Right. What's going through your head? I said, bitch, well, yeah, I was, well, first, you know, we getting our critiques, and I was like, calculating. I said, okay, she... Bottom. <laughs> calculate, you know. I said... Right, you gotta calculate. It, right, I said, we go down now. <laughs> and then we... I said, we gotta untuck. I said, give me my little drink, because, bitch, I'm in the bottom. Oh, well, no. I'm lip -seeing. They're like, yo, you don't think... Yes, bitch, I know. Y'all see the show. <laughs> me and her. Homegirl with the dollar bills. Right. Yeah. So it was... You had to lip sync against Calorie. Yeah. So you get up there. Now you, the lights change. Mm. RuPaul is there. Michelle is there. You, you must be like, okay, bitch. It's scary. What are you going to do now? Yeah. I was just... You know, and the thing is, when we were lining up to go back onto the main stage to, about to lip sync, I seen all this money and calories corset. Right. And inside. Like in her tits, where her tits were. Uh -huh. I was like, what this bitch about? I said, oh, shit. She's pulling she a stunt. She's pull a stunt. Mm -mm. I said, fuck, can I get 45 Barbies and put them in my toto? <laughs> and I start shooting the bitches out. So the judges, pow, pow. But yeah, it was too late. So I was, was like, bro, no, what? So we lining up. They, the, the lights go like this. I see Christina with her eyes. I see Michelle like. <laughs> right, I forgot like, Christina Aguilera was there, right. too. Child, I was a fan. <laughs> I said, oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the music starts. You're lip singing, lip singing to a Christina song for yeah. Christina. Yeah. See, if I had to do Christina, I would rather do, like, Dirty. Uh-huh. You know, I mean, Ain't No Other Man is cute. Right. But um, Ain't No Other Man was on the stage. But, uh, you know, I, 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 I was just like, girl, it just kind of went quick. And it was yeah. like, I don't know. I was just nervous, scared, and yeah, I just was over it. And you were moving things around. Yes. The tools getting caught. To, the two, 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 life change effect. <laughs> Bitch, I was over it. When the tour um, got stuck to me, that's when I was I was already like, bitch, what the fuck? It's like right. a train wreck. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah, you do the I death drop. I kicked the shoe off. The I shoe. just fucked the shoe. And because what happened was... Okay. His, hold on, shit. Because <laughs> you know that got me, girl. What happened was we're lining up and the little people that... Not the little people, the people that help us. Right, They're yeah. not little. They're not... This not Willie Walker's factory. Right. They're just regular people. <laughs> the people can't... I said, girl, can you help me put on my shoe? Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, I got you. I said... Go, ladies to the stage. I said, wait, you got a clip? And she said, it's clip. Oh, I said, no. oh, fuck. <laughs> I knew it was not clip, so I kicked the foot. The shoe said... Oh, I said, no. oh, shit, but Rupa ended up liking that part. Right. He said, after you did that, I kind of wanted to keep you. <laughs> I said, well, mama, what happened? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Calorie deserved to stay. She made it rain. And, you know, I'm used to people making it rain on me when I'm performing. I so I was like, oh. Thank you. Yes, the coin. Did you see the little poof of money happening? Or you? No, you at that time, I was on the floor whipping my head. So when I looked, when I got up and I saw money, I said, oh, and I heard that, you know, everybody was, it was, it was, yeah, I did not know, no. No, okay. So that was rough. Before you found out what the verdict was, that must have been a really tough moment. You've made it all the way here. You, you made your entrance. You're in the mix. Yep. And so you were pretty emotional at that, between mm -hmm. that, between when you had to wait to find out who was there. Yeah, it was crazy. I was like, bitch, I didn't get to wear nothing. But this 99 cent shit. Right. All the outfits that you brought. Right. And you know, those those few seconds that RuPaul's standing there look, about to make the decision take, feel like hours. Right. So I'm sitting there like... <laughs> you know, looking around. I see the money on the ground still. I'm looking at Calvary like this, bitch. Mm. And yeah. And there it was. Yep, there it was, the moment where RuPaul... He said something about, um, you made your family proud or something. Bam! And I was like... <laughs> Like, I didn't even smile! 
I was just over it. <laughs> I was just sad. Yeah, and then, but luckily you were able to pull your senses together. Right. And you started backing up and you said? Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. And you know, I did the last one real desperate. Mm -hmm. Miss Vanjie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, <laughs> it was a mess. <laughs> So then you had to go back to the workroom, clean up your stuff. And they asking you 445 different questions. Oh, my and God. And I'm over here boohoo crying. Right, you're crying in the interview. Yeah. And that, that doesn't seem like your natural state is crying and being sad. Right. I mean, but at that point, I was just like, uh, a hot, shitty mess, and I was just crying, sad. I was like, I don't want to go home. Right. Like, I was like, can I stay in the? I will stay in the hotel room. I promise, I'll just stay in. The, <laughs> like, I just don't want to go. Right. It was. Oh, I was over it. So you you wrote you wrote in the mirror, I heart you the Vanjie way. Right. Now, what is the Vanjie way? Bitch, I love you the Vanjie way. Um, that's just like, bitch, the way I the way I would love somebody, which is all kind of crazy. Read your love, your fuck your hate your. That's the Vanjie way. The I Vanjie you way. All, all different ways, yeah. So you go home, and you have a whole, like, at least six months before the show's going to come out. Right. And how was that? What, what was that time like? I said, well, that's when I started coming up with my game plan. Uh-huh. I said, get all the bookings. Mm -hmm. Get all the, you know, do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Act like you want, trick the people, fool the people, gag the kids. Yep. Yeah, I was doing trickery. Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready yeah. to slay the game as yeah. soon as the reveal was made. Right, I was like, well, in my head, I was like, it's not me going home that's going to define me. It's what I'm about to do. Right. With me leaving and what I'm about to do. Every, You know, like, every, in my head, I was like, well, go to the bookings and show them your personality because mm -hmm. you ain't get to show them shit, but it's not a nice that shit. Right. So I was like, <laughs> make it, you know, milk it. Now, you said you wanted to make your mom proud. Now, were you talking about your uh, bio mom or your drag mom? All my mamas. All my real moms. mom, my <laughs> drag mom, everybody. I wanted to make everyone proud. And did your mom watch the show? Yeah, she was sad and she didn't understand why I went home. Right. <laughs> but you know how mamas are. She'd look at me, she's like, ah. Uh -uh. She was over it. I had to explain her. I said, and I, I, at one point I started getting frustrated. I said, "Go, you. How about you go audition and let me know how it is?" <laughs> like it ain't easy. Did your two moms watch the show together? No, my mom watched it at home, and Alexis was. I don't know where she. I was getting ready for my gig, and she was somewhere working. I think. I think she was at her at Mary's oh, in okay. Florida. So yeah. So she was watching it backstage. I didn't want to watch it when I had to hit it. Right. Right. I said, I don't want to see it with y'all. No, ma'am. I got to go. Yeah. Lady Red, what did you think of Miss Vanjie's three times of uh, of magical saying? Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. <laughs> Miss Vanjie. <laughs> I loved it, girl. Yes. Of course. I mean, I think Lady Red does it pretty good, don't you? Yes, bitch, you do. <laughs> I live. <laughs> So uh, now we start to come to the second part of your journey, which was in the second episode, we see the clip of Michelle and RuPaul laughing and right. RuPaul can't hold himself together. And the memes start popping up and all that. How did you feel specifically about all the attention you were getting from RuPaul herself? I, I mean, I felt like, oh, thank God I got, I did something right. And um, I think it gagged everybody because you never see RuPaul kind of break out of his, you know, she's yeah. real professional. She'll sit there and do what she needs to do, mm -hmm. eliminate somebody, say, you know, whatever. But for her to be like trying, you could tell she was trying to keep her composure. And Michelle was kind of like picking, like, ooh, it's Angie. Yeah. And they were just giggling. It was the cutest thing. Now, have you actually gotten to chat with RuPaul at all in person recently? Um... A few, like, not really too much, but, like, you when said we he were... was there at the finale. Right, and we were... I was going to... I was there at the hotel and everything, and I was going to my room in the, in the elevator, and he was... We clicked the button, and, and the door opened, and he was in there, he was like... <laughs> and then I said, oh, we were kicking it, and then, um... What did he, then he, he called us like, oh, you hoes or something. It was me and Eureka. <laughs> then the elevator closed, and I clicked it again, and, and you know how you click it, it makes right. you say, he was like... <laughs> and I said, now who's the hoe? <laughs> and the elevator closed and he went about his business. I love it. Yeah. 
<laughs> Make sure you are joining us on Patreon, honey, because all the things you can't see in the main episode with Vanjie are going to be there. That's bonus, hey, queen. Bonus games, bonus tea, bonus delicious scoops. Bonus, mm. bonus, bonus. Shouldn't they go there, Vanjie? Yeah. yeah. you got to go to patreon.com slash TV for all the exclusive Vanjie content. Hello, children. To see part three of this interview, click here. To see more Hey Queen fabulousness, click here. And don't forget to subscribe, bitch! Hey! 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 <laughs>